hey everyone welcome back on the channel welcome to a different kind of video uh, today we will discuss about how to enable paging file uh, in your windows 10 pc many users uh, commented in the comment section like they don't know how to enable the paging file so we'll do that but uh, before that uh, we'll just get a quick overview uh, at the paging file like what does it do why should we enable it how much uh, paging file should we uh, allocate uh, about that so paging file is just another uh, virtual memory what do you say uh, like uh, if in these days the most of the smartphone comes with this kind of memory they say virtual ram extensible extension ram something like this term you might have heard about it and so paging file is uh, been there like uh, from uh, windows 7 windows 10 uh, so it's very old but some people don't know about it uh, so how much do you want to uh, allocate or enable uh, allocate to the space so i will say if you have 8 gigs or less uh, you should allocate like uh, uh, 16 16 to 12 12 to 16 uh, gigabytes and if you have uh, 16 gig gigabyte of ram already then you should enable 8 to 12 gigabyte maybe uh, but if you have more than 16 gigabyte uh, like 32 or 64 uh, there is no need of uh, enabling paging file but you still can follow this uh, tutorial and you can still enable this it will help you in games like uh, the last of us like i have 16 gb of ram but when i uh, launch the last of us uh, from the it has uh, like 16 gigabyte of ram but when i launch the game without enabling the paging file the game shortcut says like uh, not available memory or out of vram something like this so let's begin the tutorial without any further ado so first of all you need to select my pc or this pc right click on it and go on properties and after that maximize the tab go to the advanced system setting after that you can see many tabs here just select the advanced tab after that click on setting then add, again go uh, select the advanced tab in the new pop-up window and you will see here uh, at the bottom of this uh, window something says virtual memory a paging file the details of the paging file right now you can see i have allocated uh, around 14 14 to uh, uh, 15 gigabytes uh, i have 16 gigabytes of ram mm, i'll show you here mm, here 16 gigabyte of ram but still i have allocated like 14 to 15 gigabyte because uh, it helps me in uh, last of us and many other uh, ps4 ported games especially the ps4 ps5 port playstation ported games takes a lot of paging file so that's why i have allocated this much so if your uh, pc does not have paging file enabled you will see something like uh, uh, this uh, you'll see that uh, paging file has not enabled and you can check all these boxes right now it's not showing because i have already enabled it uh, no paging file i think it will set to buy uh, this uh, to set the paging file uh, you need to click on change after that uh, if your is automatically ticked then your paging file is already enabled if uh, if you want to uh, manually allocate the size then you want to untick this and then you want to select your uh, windows uh, drive uh, for me uh, it is c. Uh, c it is c for everyone for me it is this drive windows x Lite. so after selecting you can set two to three things mm, custom size system manage it will automatically and if you tick on this automatically paging file it will select paging for all these drives like uh, one two i got three drives for all these three drives but we don't want that we just want to set it on the c drive uh, so we'll do that uh, we'll select this and after that we'll come to the custom size uh, so you can see a basic uh, baseline here uh, like it will say minimum allocate allowed like minimum how much minimum you can set and what is the recommendation you can see here recommendation and you can see currently allocated how much so in a uh, 16 gb ram file uh, i want to allow like uh, say 12 gb so what i will do is and the initial size i will uh, allow 8 gigabytes to know how much 8 gigabytes is uh, in megabyte you can just uh, hit the calculator mm, after uh, you can hit the calculator and you just ca calculate the uh, size like 8 into 1024 equals to 8192 so the initial size can be 8192 8 gigabytes and the maximum i can set to 12 gigabytes say so i will Mm, 12 into 1024 oh, my bad 
12 into 1024 it is around 12 to 88 12 to 88 so i can do this after that i can click on set so you want to uh, initial size you want to make it more than uh, 2 to 4 gb uh, do not go below 2 to 4 gb in the initial size and maximum you can go whatever you want but it is not recommended to go above 16 gigabyte uh, it will be wasted of space um, uh, one thing i need to say that you need to have a uh, free space in your c drive to allocate this because once you allocate this space your uh, space from your c drive will be reduced like i got 24 gb if i click on set and then restart my pc then 16 gigabyte from uh, sorry 12 gigabyte from my uh, system will be deleted or i can't use that space so do remember about that and make your free space on your c drive after that you can just click on set you can click on ok now it will show that i need to restart my pc to make the changes click on ok apply and then click on ok now you can just restart the pc and it will uh, set your paging file and it will help you in various uh, AAA titles uh, which uses more vram so yeah this will be it i won't restart my pc now because it will end the recording right now so if this video helps you uh, leave a like and if you don't know what paging file should you set uh, you can just comment down your ram and system memory size and i will help you in the comment section so yeah this will be it guys uh, also next video is plectal requiem uh, updated video so stay tuned for that and i'll see you guys in the next one thank you